What's up everybody? Jackson here. I'm doing my best to stay calm today. I, I, you know, it just seems to be every other time I turn around, there's some new news about No Man's Sky. And it's fucking driving me nuts, because I kind of just like, it's one of those situations where this game, I had invested a lot of hope in this game. A lot of, you know, just longing for something better. And I feel like it wasn't I just conjured this out of fucking thin air like I think it had to do a lot with the E3 videos I was watching and other things I was watching and you know Sean Murray sitting there you know laying out this line of code that made me feel like a dumbass you know what I mean like I was a fucking idiot like how can this guy know this this is a fucking insane this is gonna be amazing right well a couple of things I'm gonna focus on in this video the first being that there's actually been a surprising number of people who have actually gotten away with getting refunds for No Man's Sky. Not only on Steam, of course on Steam, but even in some cases the PlayStation 4. And that is fucking crazy to me because I didn't even think that was possible for a digital download to get a refund on the PlayStation 4. For a digital download is fucking insane to me. That's insane to me. Uh, but apparently this dude's error code was so fucking long that it made Sony's head hurt and they were like, okay, fine, here you go. They gave him a refund. And I don't know if that's just one case or several cases, I don't know. I just see videos float through the atmosphere and I gather little bits of news from them. What I, what, what I may. And that to me <laughs> is is so fucking weird and unprecedented that I'd, I'd never even heard of an instance in that where you could say this dude got a fucking refund on a fucking Sony game that he bought digitally. Like, when does that happen? And I, I, I just scratched my head and I couldn't fucking think of it. I couldn't think of another time with another game that that had happened. And I mean, I don't even know. And there's a lot of games that have been fucking, you know, miss miss represented but no man's sky takes the cake and the thing about this is that's the second thing i want to talk about and this is when i'm going to get into like a little bit more depth and this is that fucking earlier thing like that's just i find that i it's satisfying if i you know if i knew how to approach that i would definitely go for a refund as well because the thing about No Man's Sky is it, it genuinely wasn't what they said it was going to be. There's, you know, you can, you can fucking say you enjoy it. You can say it has its merits. I'll say it too, and I'll back you up on that. But you can't fucking say that it's the fucking game that they said what they were going to deliver. You can't say that because it's not. And that's when you get into the meat of the fucking, the meat of the thing. And that's not, my opinion isn't you know like the unpopular majority like my opinion that no man's sky is not what the fuck they said it is is not even really an opinion it's the general fucking knowledge of you know everyone everyone agrees all right no man's sky is not at all what sean murray fucking said it was going to be it's not and you can this is represented quite well in the fact that there's a 90 percent player drop off oh my fucking god all right, and that was that was I think within two weeks, within two weeks of the release of No Man's Sky, they saw a 90% player drop. All right, so I wasn't the only one who fucking started to feel that burn and started to see how fucking like these prices on these fucking upgraded ships. To where I was like, okay, well, fine, this one will fucking do. And then I realized that it was just going to be a very tedious act of fucking warping as far as I could until I fucking, you know, had to farm for warp cells and then warp again until finally I reached the center of the universe and I got spoiled on what's in there. And warning, if you don't know already, I'm going to spoil it. Fucking nothing. It zooms out. New game plus. <laughs> that's, that's the fuck what it is. It zooms out to some pretty music. Boom. New game plus. All right. Once I found out that that you know, like I was, I was still going, like I was plowing ahead through the universe. You know, I was doing my best to give a shit and fucking push myself through to the center. You know what I mean? I wanted to get to the center, and then I saw the fucking spoiler, and I was just like, why? Why would I continue this pursuit that is so drab and boring at this point in time? 
and is just starting to blend together into the same fucking experience as the first 20 or 30 hours, repeating itself over and fucking over again. And the thing about this <laughs> is Sean Murray isn't dumb. And some of the things he said about this game, particularly one that's still interesting to me, when he said, what you see at the center of the universe will make you give up playing this game and walk away. And I had fucking heard him say that, right? And I didn't remember it until I was looking at this fucking video that had spoiled it and someone had wrote like, well, at least they told the truth about something. And I started to think about this and I'm like, wow. I just, there's this fucking, you know, and I can't prove this, of course, and this may just be fucking some crazy theory that I've cooked up in my head on my own downtime or whatever, but I'm going to tell you, if not for any other reason than to just humor you with it, but I think he fucking knew, like, I think Sean Murray fucking knew that this fucking thing wasn't going to be ready, I think he knew that fucking he was delivering a product that he was misrepresenting in a big bad way you know a big bad way like there's there's no ifs ands buts arguments about it all right sean murray misrepresented no man's sky he lied he lied he lied that shit happened and it's all right you know it's 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 you know it's okay to you know at least accept that and admit that to yourself that you know he has told several lies okay but then you look at a, at a statement like that where if you were playing the game like Sean Murray was playing the game, and I'm not talking about at E3 when he's playing those fucking, you know, fucking <laughs> skits. We'll call them skits. You know, those gameplay that he's like, oh, this is a completely random planet, blah, blah, blah. This is not going to happen. And it's completely rehearsed and pre-designed, and they found that in the di data mining. All right. These, these things all lead to one thing. He told the truth when he said what you find at the center of the universe will make you want to stop playing. Because this was the most overhyped thing, like they were saying, like, you, just like, Jesus, the fucking, the way that these motherfuckers were talking, I was like, involved, dude, and like, this was, and you know, I, I kind of distanced myself from it after I had listened to a few initial things, and then I started to, you know, realize that, you know, this is just, you know, this is probably just hype, you know, blah, 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 like, but I fucking still wanted it to be so good. I defended it when it came, went up for $60. And there were people that were yelling about it. And like, fuck that. Like, that's a triple A price. Like, this is bullshit. And fucking, it's like, you know what? It, I, at the time, I was like, dude, what's bullshit is Battlefront fucking charging $60 for a fucking PvP only game that has fucking like only three or four playable modes and maps. All right. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. We'll hunt $50 season pass. Or however much the fucker was. But I can't even remember. But it was ridiculous. Right? And that was kind of sort of my argument. Like, that is, that's okay because it's, you know, AAA. Because it's got EA stamped on it and dice stamped on it. That's okay. But for fucking these people over here, you know, they just, a small company, it's not okay for them to charge $60. And I'm one of the ones who I think, like, some fucking indie games are worth definitely more than I paid for them. And you fucking, that's insane and crazy, but, and some are not worth what I paid for them. You know what I mean? There's varying degrees, and you can tell the difference in the work, in the gameplay, you can tell the fucking difference, you can feel the difference. And that's the thing, is, I, you know, that's, I was just hoping that this would be the example that I could point to that's like, yeah, but look at how, look at this game. It's just full of shit that's going on. It's a fucking universe, man, you know, like. And then this happened and it's just, it's seriously, it's, it's fucking dampened my spirits, this thing. And it's just, it's one of those situations where no matter how you cut it, he lied, right? He fucking lied. And he fucking said, that's almost mockingly, that's almost mockingly, he says, you know, well, what you find at the center of the universe will make you fucking quit playing the game. Because he's, and he's just thinking in his head, because he's so smart. It will. It's nothing. <sighs> anyway, guys, 
I just wanted to do a video about this real quick. I've got some really good videos coming out. I've recently got some an access to a very, very good high-end PC my brother bought. It's very excellent. And I'm going to be doing almost all of my editing on that once I get that situated with the mic and stuff. Because right now where we have it set up, there's a little bit of an echo. So we've got to do some soundproofing and things like that to get it ready for it. And... But I, I've got one coming out on, you know, Destiny. I got some Destiny footage and stuff too, which is, it's actually really good footage. And that's courtesy of Christopher Castillo. And that's, you know, I, that's part of what my video is going to be about is my history with Chris and the rights and wrongs of both things. And it wasn't even really right or wrong. It was just more a misrepresentation of both of our ideas and thoughts you know hastily thrown at each other and it came across the wrong way which benefits not us but benefits the people trying to fuck us so that's kind of what that video is going to be about i got one coming out about battlefield one the you know the early the early beta beta <laughs> that'll oh cold alpha <laughs> the demo <laughs> I got a chance to play that. I got a video coming out about that, what I thought about that, you know what I mean? And so, I hope you guys keep watching. Thanks for watching this one. I've got more stuff coming, good stuff, taking lots of time, effort, gonna be writing scripts, things of that nature. Hope you guys enjoy. Till next time, remember that the solution is never separation. The solution is unity. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.